Hello everyone and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Thursday, November 23 spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest that Stephanie Johnson discovered something strange as Chad DeMira was taking a shower following the charity turkey trot. Stephanie questioned why Gwen Rizjek would be phoning Chad when she saw her name appear on his caller ID. After hearing the voicemail, Chad pretended to be naive and told a falsehood about Gwen, wishing Thomas Demura a happy early birthday. Chad contacted Gwen back in a moment to inform her that the contracts and money transfer had been finalized. Insinuating that this was a means of removing Everett Lynch from their life, Chad continued, saying Stephanie couldn't find out that he had purchased Gwen's share of The Spectator. On Thursday's episode of Days, Julie Williams was scared to see an unfamiliar man in her house at the Horton residence. In the end, it was Everett who turned to admit that Doug Williams had allowed him entry. Everett was interested in doing a profile on Julie and Doug for The Spectator because they were the matriarch and patriarch of Salem, respectively. After that nasty editorial about Leo Stark, Julie maintained they didn't want any part of it. Everett was understanding, but he also attempted to justify his PR-driven actions in handling the Leo situation in that manner. Julie decided to believe Everett when he told her that his goal was to return the paper to its former high standing. The kids played outside after Chad and Stephanie arrived, and Julie broke some startling news. Julie invited Everett to stay for supper after she told him about the spectator and how Stephanie and Chad were taken aback when he stepped in. Once Chad and Everett were sent to the kitchen, Stephanie told Julie all about her past romance with Everett. Although Julie felt she couldn't ask Stephanie's ex-boyfriend to leave at this point, she did apologize for inviting him to the party. Stephanie reassured Julie and made it plain that she wasn't asking her to do that. In the end, Julie determined that this Thanksgiving would be awkward. Julie suggested that they make toasts without Dub because he was dozing off following the turkey trot. Chad briefly entertained the idea of declaring he was the paper's new co-owner and that he was firing Everett, but he quickly snapped out of it. On Thursday's episode of Days, Johnny Demera discovered Holly Jonas by himself at the Demera estate, while Nicol Walker Demera and E.J. DeMira stayed at the hospital. Johnny called Channel to tell her he had to stay with his stepsister on Thanksgiving since he didn't want to leave Holly alone, even though he wanted to see Channel later. After discovering the fixings for Thanksgiving on a bun, Johnny and Holly shared a meal in the living room. Holly seemed happy when Johnny dabbed at the tiny gravy that was stuck to the corner of her mouth. During Thanksgiving dinner with Brady Black in the bar on Thursday's episode of Days, Tate Black told him about the miscommunication over the near kiss and Holly's reaction. Brady proposed phoning Holly or maybe bringing her some pie for dessert after Tate acknowledged that Holly was not responding to his texts. Brady felt that Holly needed someone to lean on right now, especially after what had happened to Nicole and her child. On Thursday's Dio Olo program, Tate arrived at the Demira home and disrupted Holly and Johnny's supper. Johnny decided to attempt making it for dessert at Paulina Price's apartment since Holly had company now. Tate expressed regret for his poor timing, but Holly made up her mind that she was beyond their recent argument and didn't care. Though Holly was happy to re-establish their friendship, she demanded that Tate assist her in severing her ties with Channel and Johnny. Holly became enraged and pretended that their friendship was over when Tate rejected the idea. Tate gave in to helping Holly ruin the relationship between Johnny and Channel, so Holly gave him a hug and said she would be having dessert with Johnny by Christmas. Channel kept Paulina updated about Holly's bothersome crush on Johnny when she was at Paulina's house. After dinner, Abe Carver met Paulina and Channel, who shared some recent photos of Jules and Carver Grant. It was difficult for Abby to look at images of Lanny Grant and her children and not recall anything about them, so he became distraught over them. Aid was given some alone time with Paulina by Channel, who apologized for upsetting him. Channel and Johnny had some romantic moments together 
when they stumbled into each other in the town square. Regarding Paulina, she remembered the moment she gave an amnesiac Abby kiss and made him freak out. Paulina reassured Abby that she was now concentrating on showing gratitude for what she had, which included enjoying Abe's wonderful company tonight. In the end, Abe said that even though Paulina had overwhelmed him the first time, he was now in agreement that he wanted to kiss her. As a result, Paulina and Abe began to develop a closer bond and share some adorable kisses. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Abe and Paulina have a bright future, especially after Abe's memories come back. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Everett Lynch is unaware that he has another ex-girlfriend living nearby. Everett's last girlfriend, Stephanie Johnson, is the reason he traveled to Salem. But he also has an ex-wife, which will later cause complications. Everett is the ex-husband of Jada Hunter, who has mentioned him several times. They were once married. Fans of Days will remember that Jada claimed she and her husband drifted apart because they have different goals in life. Even while it seems like Everett and Jada's marriage ended quite smoothly, it will still come as a shock when they eventually cross paths. It will be intriguing to observe when that time comes and how that initial scene turns out. Stephanie is likely to have to witness this brief reunion, so when she finds out that Jada is Everett's ex-wife, she will undoubtedly be shocked. Viewers of Days are aware that Jada is friends with Stephanie's family because their fathers were once so close. It's possible that Everett mentioned his ex-wife in this context without ever giving her name. However, it's possible that Everett just uttered her name Jada without Stephanie realizing it was they Jada. Naturally, if Everett had never disclosed that he was married to anyone at all, there might be much more drama around duo. If Stephanie learns of Everett's marriage for the first time, she can become even more astonished. If Everett didn't reveal that, what more would he be hiding? If Stephanie believes that Everett hid information from her during their relationship on purpose, she may become worried and even have some arguments with him. Day spoilers naturally state that Stephanie may become jealous as well. Even though Everett and Jada are no longer together, Stephanie may have to observe their interactions and consider the chance that they could get back together. In summary, the marital connection between Jada and Everett is going to cause quite a stir in the upcoming weeks. Stay tuned for updates on Stephanie's reaction to this shocking revelation. According to previews for Days of Our Lives, Chad DeMiro will continue to have issues because of all the attention Stephanie is giving Everett. So this scenario is just going to get worse. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.